In today's video, a game to rival Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail. I know, we've heard it all before. We have some girls, Frontline 2 beta news, some information regarding Persona 5 Phantom X, a new game called Project Terrarium, and more. If you do enjoy the video, guys, be sure to like and let me know in the comment section if you want more of this kind of content. Without further ado, let's get straight into the news, shall we? Okay, let's talk gacha news for this week then, shall we? Girls Frontline 2, a name you've probably heard, the RPG action strategy game that's coming soon. Recruitment is actually starting very soon for the closed base test tomorrow as of recording this video, the 24th of October. The test will be available on both Android and PC, and the wait is almost over for people who are interested in checking the game out. Pre-registration on the App Store and Google Play, and pre-registration for the PC as well. I will leave a link in the description for anybody who wants to check out the pre-registration for PC. So if you want to get yourself into the recruitment for the closed beta, it starts on the 24th, so you can pre-register right now. And if they do hit the targets for milestones, including access to permission, times 20, the tactical doll, cheetah, and more upon the official release for when they hit those milestones. So that's Girls Frontline 2. Recruitment for the closed beta test starts on the 24th. Fourth. Okay, let's move on to another game now. A game that I didn't really didn't know that much about. This is Remento White Shadow. And we've got some news for the closed beta test on this game as well. Let's have a little look into what this game actually is. It's developed by Blackstorm, which is a Korean developer. I know a lot of people will think, oh, don't know about the idea of that. But let's get into it. Remento White Shadow offers traditional JRPG gameplay with a focus on character collection and development. Players will be able to recruit and develop a wide range of characters, each with unique abilities to create teams. Highlights of the game include an open world with no loading screens, enriched with real-time weather changes. So this is very interesting. It's going to have strategic PvP modes. I know alarm bells are ringing now for people, where players can com compete against other others by building powerful teams. High-quality graphics developed with Unreal Engine 5, with real-time lighting and cartoon-like rendering, creating a distinctive anime aesthetic. The game does look quite pretty, actually. And the idea of a turn-based JRPG in an open-world game is actually kind of interesting interesting so closed beta testing and official launch schedule information blackstorm has also confirmed plans for a closed beta test which will begin soon the registration page for the cbt will be available this week and official announcements will be sent out to the media starting next week developers plan to collect feedback from players during the cbd through surveys and other means the usual stuff the development team expressed gratitude for the opportunity to receive players' feedback during the crucial testing phase. While they recognise it may not be possible to meet everyone's expectations, their goal is to develop a game that appeals to the majority. Players are strongly encouraged to participate in the CBT surveys as their feedback will influence the final version of the game. In addition, there's rumours that the development team is planning to introduce some special products during the closed beta test period, adding an additional layer of an exciting excitement participants so this is very interesting the team plans to officially release the game as well get this before the end of the year or early 2025 after carefully evaluating the cbt feedback interesting i hadn't heard of this game up until recently and the idea that it's going to be out before the end of the year actually seems kind of insane or early 2025 and um, so there's been comparisons with this game to genshin and star rail now i can kind of understand the star rail uh, compa comparisons i guess maybe the genshin comparisons as well because the game is open world but blackstorm has emphasized the dark tone and jrpg inspired combat that sets marie romento apart from these games is a thing. The development team has designed the game to maintain a fair and strategic combat system, which they believe is its main differentiator. So that'll be interesting to see how things go regarding the closed beta test, if this game's going to release globally or it's going to be region locked to start off with. But it's a game that I'm definitely going to keep in, be keeping my eye on, and I'll be letting you guys know as soon as I hear more information about the game as well. But moving on now to something maybe a little bit more degenerate, and this is Project Terrarium. If you haven't heard about this game, guys, uh, I'm not surprised, actually. It's very early on. It looks it. You'll see it on screen. The, it looks a little bit jank, and uh, the 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 designs, you can tell they need a little bit of time to cook. But it's going to be degenerate by the looks of things, and hey, I'm all here for the degeneracy. So, g is the game developer specializing in subculture genres, announced on the 9th that he's attracted a seed investment worth 1.7 billion won from Cacao Ventures and Kona Venture Partners. 
Project Terrarium, which is being developed by G-Pun, is a subculture mechanical shooter game that depicts a process of humans invaded by extraterrestrial life, taking the refuge underground and fighting for the restoration of Earth. So it's basically going to be waifus riding mechas. If you like that and you want to see a lot of waifu booty, then it might be a game for you. But as you can see, it's definitely early on. I think we're looking at around 2027 for a release date for this game. It'll provide a fresh sense of immersion to users who have been waiting for subculture games with its strengths of attracting characters and solid narratives. Now, I don't know about how solid the narratives will be, but the degeneracy looks definitely very, very strong with this one. Now, we're going to move on to Persona 5, the Phantom X playtest now. And it's actually appeared on Steam DB. And this is for the Japan region. It's looking like it's going to be about 35 gig to download. So it's a pretty chunky boy. Atlas will release a free-to-play RPG Persona 5 Phantom X for iOS, Android, and PC via Steam and Google Play Games in Japan, the company has announced. So the fact that it's coming to Steam is actually quite big. Uh, obviously, Persona is a well-known IP, so it makes sense to bring it to Steam as well. There's going to be a lot of people who are interested in the game, whether they're gacha players or not. It's still going to bring a lot of interest. And the more games that actually do get onto Steam is a big thing. It's it, it's bringing it to more of a global audience and a larger audience, for one. Uh, users can pre-register for the Japanese release by following the official Twitter account or by friending the official Line account. And applications for the closed beta test will run across iOS, Android, and the PC via Steam. And they'll be available now via the official website. The game launched on the 12th of April in China and a little bit later on the 18th in Taiwan and South Korea. And Japan is next and hopefully Global won't have to wait too long behind Japan as well. We still have no news on that, but as soon as I know, I'll be letting you guys know. And last but not least, let's talk about some other in Wave, shall we? The rerun for Jian's Banner starts on the 24th and it runs all the way through to the 13th. And obviously, it's for your Emerald General Jian. And we're going to get the new Resonator Yuhu as one of the rated four stars, along with San Hua and Morifi as well. And of course, his signature weapon, the Verdant Summit, is going to be available as well. So if you missed the dude last time, he's definitely a good character to add to your roster. Great a character for the account, in my opinion. Super Ungabunga, a really good CC. Just an overall good DPS, and he still hangs really well in the meta. But guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. That's all I've got time for. Let me know if you want more of these sort of videos as well, and we will work at trying to improve them, make them a little bit better. First time doing it. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section what do you think about all of the upcoming titles we spoke about, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you very much for hanging out, and if you have enjoyed, drop a like on the video, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you later. Ta-da.